Hi, my name is Doug Bannister. Behind me here is uh, Airship Construction, and we are in Windyville, Missouri, on the 1,500-acre campus of the School of Metaphysics. I've been involved with the concrete industry since the 60s, and I've done all sorts of concrete. I am an ACI certified nozzleman using big two-inch hose and, um, and uh, 190 CFM air compressors to do structural concrete. And we didn't want that big equipment on this place because we didn't have the personnel, the job wasn't big enough. And when I came across the stucco sprayer, I thought, let's give this a try. So I called Nolan and we got into a conversation about what the School of Metaphysics is and how we were gonna use it. And I explained to him that we're a not-for-profit educational and service organization. And we're a volunteers, everybody's a volunteer here. And as I explained what we did here and how we're a sustainable community, he said, uh, I'd like to send you that sprayer. And so uh, he did that and we used it. And uh, I can say as a concrete professional, it worked very well. So I had the opportunity to work on an earthship built here at the College of Metaphysics campus in Missouri. And an earthship is a sustainable structure that's created out of mostly recycled materials, starting with tires that are compacted with dirt and rocks, and then we um, really compact them with sledgehammers. And that was, that was stage one. Stage two was coating the tires with a uh, concrete layer to protect it and to make it more stable and really just to um, make the tires last longer. So we started out by doing this by hand and just like this entire process of creating this was, um, evolution was a theme. We started out with something not really knowing what we're doing and we would learn little skills and little things to, to make it faster and better and more efficient. And as we were packing those tires, we, um, we're realizing how long it was taking. It's just taking a really long, like a really large chunk of time to be able to, to do that phase of the project. So then we were introduced with the uh, concrete spray gun that really made it nice and easy. We were able to accomplish a huge portion of the, um, of the uh, actually the entire retaining wall within hours, which um, at the rate we were going, it would have took us days and days to be able to do that by hand. And, and most of us who were on this project our students um, in our school from 16 different uh, cities across the Midwest and we all have a variety of skills in different um, backgrounds and and most of us including myself did not have a direct experience with concrete so we were able to just step right in and and be able to pick up the gun and it was easy to use and we're very grateful for that. This is fun.